We get new leaked components of the Samsung Galaxy S9 that prove that we have ultra slow-mo features on the camera. Nintendo plans to launch Mario Kart Tour for mobile devices someday, and the LG G7 seems to have gotten pushed yet again. I'm Jaime Rivera, and for those of you that complain that I say my name too much, fine. I'm Jaime Rivera. I'm Jaime Rivera. Oh, and did I tell you that I'm Jaime Rivera? This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you are in the market for an iPhone and you don't want to pay so much money, that's kind of hard. But uh, the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus continue to be devices that we recommend, so long as you buy them new, because they won't be getting throttled anytime soon. Uh, and they're currently available for close to $500 refurbished. Obviously, there are different prices depending on what you get, but you can learn more about them in the link in the description. Now let's talk about the OnePlus 5 and notice I'm not adding the T. For those of you that wanted that facial recognition technology to unlock that was so good on the 5T, well, it is now available on the OnePlus 5 as of Oxygen OS 5.0.2. Obviously, it's going to take some time to deploy. We can't guarantee that it'll be as fast, but we assume it should be, as this is really just software and it's pretty much the same hardware with the 5T. Again, you can learn more about that in the description. Now let's talk about the LG G7 as uh, now we pretty much have sources from the company that claim that the G7 will be delayed. Exactly when, we don't know, but uh, you know, see why Kim from LG has already confirmed that we should expect an update to the LG V30. Whatever that update will bring is still hard to tell, but we'll keep you posted, we'll be covering the show live. Now let's move the spotlight over to Nintendo. The company made a lot of fanfare with the whole Mario jump on uh, the you know iOS and Android. It's sadly not one of my favorite games, mainly because you need data for it to work, which I consider to be really stupid. But there is apparently going to be a new Mario Kart Tour. The company has announced it. The problem is that we should expect it any time between March and April of next year. That is probably the longest time frame, Nintendo, and you better do a better job. Better do a better job sounded weird, but yeah, you should do a better job than what you did with Mario, Super Mario Jump or whatever. And finally, the very hot news today continue to be the Samsung Galaxy S9, as we've got some leaked components, out of which, well, we see the fingerprint scanner in addition to others, but the most important was the camera. Obviously, because we've got a new and improved face detection autofocus technology, which is great, but the hardware components also confirm that the phone will be able to record 720p video at ultra slow motion, 960 frames per second. And just to give you an idea, the camera that I'm recording this video with is capable of recording 120 frames per second in ultra slow motion, HFR pretty much is what I think they call it. Uh, high frame rate, yeah. So uh, that's gonna be a lot for a phone. It's an insane capability. It leads me to the question today, I mean, what do you think? Uh, is this a feature you ever use? I mean, right now, most phones can do slow motion video. How often do you actually use it? In my case, almost not at all. So I don't think that's going to be a major feature for me. But leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's PocketNow daily up here, and you can watch our predictions and impressions of the Galaxy S9 down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.